Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Rock. Welcome to the Marine Corps Association and Foundation of Denver. We are delighted to have you here with us tonight. I'm retired Sergeant Major Adam Terry. I'm the East Coast Area Representative for the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. This annual dinner is co-hosted and supported by the Commanding General of the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force, Lieutenant General Robert Hedman. Sir, we thank you and your Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Thresher, for your leadership and your continued support of our mission of advancing leadership and recognizing excellence. Thank you, sir. Our color guard support tonight is from the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force. And our musical support is from the 2nd Marine Division Band. Leading the brass quintet is Staff Sergeant er er Erica Romero from Orlando, Florida. Let's give her a hand. The color sergeant for tonight is Sergeant Dalton Morgan from Rochester, New York. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of our color, the playing of our national anthem, retire as colors, and remain a standard for anchors away and marines him.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Marines 
is really the foundation that General Quant laid. And Les, thank you for being here. Suzanne, thank you for the trip from Charlotte. We appreciate your continued leadership and your support for the Marine Corps. Thank you for being here. Major General Mike Regner is in the house. Where are you, Mike? <laughs> Wife Mary, thank you for being here. Brigadier General Dick McCotteran, uh, a, a local uh, right down the street in the Swansville area. General McCotteran, thank you for being here. Another real <laughs> I have a couple of our board members here tonight. Uh, Colonel Bob Love, who, uh, who is here, he just happens to also be the Under Secretary's Chief of Staff. So, Bob, thank you for being here. <laughs> And also, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Ron Eckert, a tremendous supporter of our organization, Ron. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of Sergeants Major in the house tonight, but there's two in particular that I want to recognize. And I'd ask you to stand up. First off, 12th Sergeant Major in the Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Gene Overstreet. <laughs> Major Mike Barrett, Mike Stanley. <laughs> a couple others, uh, Wendell Webb, National Commandant of the Marine Corps League. Wendell, thank you, Carol, for being here. <laughs> we have Colonel Mary Reinwald. She's the current editor of the Leatherneck. We also have Colonel Retired Walt Ford in here. Walt is the former editor of the Leatherneck. Walt, thank you for being here. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> The uh, Director of Marine Corps Community Services, Camp Lejeune, uh, Sarah Wilton, is in here with us. So, Sarah, thank you. There you are. Good to see you. <laughs> Several groups of individuals I want to uh, I want to recognize, and let me just go through these and save your applause to the end. We have uh, Colonel Retired Bill Davis is here with a bunch of the, the young Marines. Uh, we also have Marines from. When I call your unit, I want you to stand up. The MLG is, is well represented. We have Marines from CLB 26. Where are you? Uh, uh, we're on, we're on. Good to see you. And also, Combat Logistics Battalion 6 is here with us. All right. Here we go. Battle buddy, Sergeant Major Dobson, tremendous leader of Marines from 2nd Marine Division, is with us. We also have Marines from 3rd Battalion, 2nd Marines. Where are you tonight? Here we go. Okay, a couple others here. Bear with me. Really good representation from, uh, I mentioned Wendell Webb earlier, but the Marine Corps League, as well as uh, Emerald and the folks that do the Military Expo Series. It starts tomorrow, right down the street here, opening ceremonies, right in front of Liver Sedge. Uh, appreciate the continued support. Alex Hetherington, uh, Jamie Nelson, and the group. Thank you for being here. You've always been great supporters. We appreciate it. Okay. Hey, take a look at your programs. I cut you off there. I cut off a round of applause for Alex Hetherington. Right. Sponsors and uh, I can't see around the corner. The slides may still be up there. I'm not sure, but uh, you probably saw them earlier. All the logos from all our corporate sponsors. You know, we have uh, for all our events, we have over 160 of them at varying levels of support. But all of them are important. You see the ones on the back of the, the program there now that support tonight's event. We couldn't do what we do without them. I'll call it out of the, the 300 folks that are here tonight, have about 120 Marines. And the Marines are eating free. And the, reasons are, the reason they're eating free is really on the back of our corporate sponsors who love Marines and they love taking care of Marines. So to all our corporate sponsors, thank you for doing what you do and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. in particular, Greg Nelson and Esty Boone again for your support of this year's event. 
Uh, we have representatives here from the local Jacksonville Chamber of Commerce. We appreciate that. And certainly, Jeff Clark is here with his wife, Deborah, from the Marine Federal Credit Union. Thank you. Uh, thank you for what you continue to do. Okay, a couple of final comments here, and then we'll eat. Our magazines. All right. I'm not going to ask you who read April's Letterlet and who read April's Gazette. Sorry, Major Barrett, I know you did. But, uh, matter of fact, you read it on the airplane. I just talked to you about it earlier. But, uh, tremendous magazines, iconic magazines. But these magazines are only a small portion of what the Marine Corps Association and Foundation does for Marines. You know, we have somewhere around 67,000 members around the world, not only active duty Marines, but friends of the Corps. A lot of you in here are members. You can tell who's a member because you look on your name tag and you can see that yellow tab uh, next to your name tag. And, uh, and if, you, if you don't have a yellow tab, then well, I guess you're not a member. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. And there's good reasons for that. You can go online and become a member. Everyone disconnects. You can reconnect easily. But I recommend you reconnect. Not only for these magazines, but to continue to support Marines. You know, last year, we supported over 49,000 Marines. Provided over 7,000 awards for individual Marines at every Marine Occupational Specialty School uh, and every Occville across the Marine Corps. Just tremendous. And it goes back to 1913, founded by John A. Dejern. Uh, we, we enjoy what we're doing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, here's the, the sequence of events, really, is I'm going to ask the chaplain to come up and say blessing. We're going to eat, and after, gen after dinner, the uh, two MEF commander is going to come up here and introduce our guest of honor. Chaplain, if you could join me, please. Thank you very much. By the way, Chaplain Christian. That's <laughs> <laughs> his name. <laughs> That's great, guys. Heavenly Father. The American culture has changed significantly since 1913, when the Marine Corps Association was formed. But due to the vision of a young man from Point Capi Parish in the heart of the Chapel I Basin, the Marine Corps has stayed true to its rich traditions and heritage that sets it apart from all other military branches. The Marine Corps Association has developed leaders and advanced the professionalism that captures the spirit of the Corps that John Archer Lejeune embodied. And that work is more important than ever, as a changing world needs the Marine Corps. A strong bulwark that trains women and men to not only win wars, but instills in them the honor, courage, and commitment that makes our country strong. The Marine Corps Association is an indispensable element of that bulwark that holds strong, holds true, and holds fast year after year. So Father, I pray that you bless their work, that you bless this meal, and that you bless the United States Marine Corps. I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your dinner. <laughs>